Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make French toast in the wok, uh, as well as uh, use the bread that I bake in the wok. Uh, to, to make the French toast, I start out with some egg, and I use the bread that I bake. I dip the egg in the bread, and then next, I make the French toast right in the wok. Uh, in this case, I use uh, my wok like a small frying pan, and it turned out very well. Now, the bread that I use is the one that I bake in the wok. In here, I'm going to provide you a brief overview how I bake the bread, but in the future video, I will give you more details. After I knead the dough, I proof the dough directly in the wok, and then I put it into the oven and bake right from there. I used to bake back in a loaf pan, but it turned out that the wok is much simpler. Uh, when I compare to the bread that I bake in the loaf pan, the wok actually makes better bread. By having a wok that can be placed in the oven, greatly increase the flexibility and functionality of the wok. Okay, let's get into the kitchen and make some the French toast. I crack three eggs into a bowl and then I add some cinnamon uh, directly uh, to the eggs. Uh, if you don't like cinnamon, uh, you can skip this step. My wife loves cinnamon. If I don't put cinnamon in the egg, I probably will be in trouble. Well, this is one thing nice about home cooking. Uh, you can make adjustment to your personal preference, or in this case, the preference of my wife. And next, I'm going to slice uh, two pieces of bread. We really enjoy this recipe uh, because this bread has a nice crust, but it has a very soft crumb. And you can slice the bread to the thickness that you prefer. And this is another reason I really enjoyed uh, having homemade bread. And besides this, homemade bread is very easy to bake. Because of the softness of the crumb, uh, this bread actually can absorb a lot of eggs. Uh, by adjusting the thickness of the bread, you can create French toast with very different texture. If you cut it thicker, then you will have a very nice soft interior texture. I'm going to use my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok to make the French toast. Uh, using my spot seasoning method, I'm going to create a non-stick coating. Uh, this is very important for making French toast. Uh, this Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok is also known as a wok pan. It is because the surface area of the bottom of the wok is relatively large. Uh, it is about 9 inch across, the size of a small frying pan. As you can see here, it easily can accommodate two pieces of relatively large French toast. Uh, the large surface bottom area uh, makes the wok very flexible. Uh, in addition to function as a uh, wok, uh, you can also use it as a small frying pan. And when you have a wok like this, you can almost use the wok as a single cooking utensil in your kitchen. In fact, my friend Jackson told me that uh, his wok is the only cooking utensil that he has in his kitchen. He used his wok not only for stir frying, but used for pan frying as shown here. He also used the wok for boiling water, for steaming, baking, broiling in the oven, and he even used his wok on his gas grill. Uh, Jason told me that he is yet to use find a cooking task that he could not use his wok for. As soon as I put the French toast in the wok, I turned the heat to low, because I want the inside of the French toast to be more cooked. And nevertheless, you can leave the heat on high uh, if you want the inside of the French toast have a more soft texture. Uh, for my wife and I, this will make a very nice breakfast. But if you have a lot of people to cook for, obviously the wok is not a good solution. In this case, you need some sort of a griddle. And without any question, a dog wok can serve a nice small frying pan, but it certainly is no substitute for a uh, large skillet. Uh, if you have a lot of people to cook for, and you, if you want to fry a large amount of uh, food ingredients. Uh, the wok is so flexible, I use my wok every day, and I use it for many different cooking tasks. And I believe that uh, every kitchen should have a wok, and every cook should learn how to use a wok. Uh, so in addition to uh, making French toast in this 14-inch uh, Cucina stainless steel wok, uh, the flat bottom surface area is large enough 
that you can cook, say, a free hamburgers. In fact, the bottom surface of the wok is large enough that you can also uh, use to make some grilled cheese sandwiches. In the following picture, I would like to show you comparisons of the flat surface area of different woks. As you can see here, different woks have different size of the flat surfaces, range from relatively large to really very small. Therefore, if you want to have a wok that is able to serve as a small frying pan, uh, you need to choose the right kind of wok. And because of this reason, I choose the Kusina 14-inch standard steel wok as versus the large 14-inch cast iron wok, which has a small round bottom. Now, selecting the right wok is important, depending on what you want to do with it and what you would like to cook in it. I post a video every day to demonstrate my fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. If you'd like to see more of this kind of video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Keep on cooking.